So I wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing of the things that I have here. Um, I won't take long, um, basically because I've been sick for the last week or so. But I wanted to see those things that I received. Hey Ed, how are you? So let's let's get with it. So we're gonna unbox this, which is supposed to be uh, one of those M0110 keyboards. And then we're gonna open up the two key sets, uh, Dev TTY and uh, GMK Campy. All right. So let's let's get to it. Let's see. And this uh, M0010 should have the Hasu adapter, so we'll be able to plug it on the computer and use it as a normal keyboard, USB keyboard, hopefully. <coughs> hey, 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 types. Hey, Ken. Nathan Kin. So you do hear Alps because this is an M. And I don't know what's happening with my image that is so dark. I don't know what I did. Oh, seems like it's getting better. There you go. All right. Yeah, but I am, I will not build my my Alps tonight, unfortunately, because I'm kind of sick. Uh, but I did receive this, which it was the last thing I was waiting for. <clears throat> I received this yesterday. <clears throat> so I have the Alps um, steps. So I think later this week, if I feel better, or early next week, we're going to be doing the Alps Browns uh, Alps 64. But uh, you did hear Alps. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not going to be the build we all wanted. Even I wanted to do today. But that's still coming. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, I stream you while sick. I mean, I'm still I still here in my house, right? I have nothing to do. I thought I just should go ahead and stream because I wanted to see the things that I got. But I've had having been having this bad bronchitis crisis, so I lose breath uh, easily. But it's it's good. I'm gonna get better eventually. All right, so this should be our M0110. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, and the guy told me that there was one switch missing, but he said also that he provided the keycap, so it's hopefully it's here. That's from Mac Market, yes. Oh, here it is, the option key. They sent me a couple of others. Let me see if I can make this work. I don't know how to manually adjust focus on this thing. And now I think I disabled autofocus. So that's not good. I'll have to fix that later. So yeah, he sent a couple of more Alps um, switches and the option key that's missing from there. Let me take a look. So this is a vintage Apple board. It's called M0110. And it's, uh, it has a converter to USB. So you can plug it in on your computer. Yes, that, I think that's, uh, that, this is modified. So I think it has a different Alps switch here. And I, I may end up changing that as well. I wonder how I open this thing. Why doesn't it work? Is this supposed to be hard to put on? I don't think so, right? Yeah, so I I never did like ret retro writing, but I may do that. Especially with the caps, so I don't know yet. So yeah, this thing enters normally here. I don't know what the deal is here. 
if I'm doing something wrong. And I fear breaking it. Yeah, I'll see what the deal is with the option key. Okay, yeah, let's let's take a closer look to the board and let me try to see if I can fix that manual focus here. I think I got it. Let's see. All right. Let's see if I can. Yep. So this is the M0110. Let's see if we have anything at the bottom that says that. Yeah. M0110. This was a keyboard uh, that was made by Apple Computer. It has this kind of RS check. I don't know the proper name for this. Um, so why don't we plug it in and do a quick type test? Let's see. So this should go in here and then we have the adapter here. And cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this case, the case of this camera, uh, you have to press a little button and then it will select the object that is closer to the camera. So that's, that's what happens. Let me see if I get any typing to work. Yeah, looks like it's working. Semi working. Let's see. Get a proper keyboard here. One second, guys. I, it's a, uh, it's, it's a little weird, and I get didn't get a chance. And I think one of the those keys is locked because it's locking. Let's see. Okay, continue. Okay, let's uh, let me move to a place where I can type, and I'll answer that question. Move this around here. Oh wow, did my OBS lock? Yeah, my OBS is not working. Let me take this out to see if there's, okay. Yeah, it was the keyboard. I think the keyboard is locking the option key when I plug it in. Let me do this. Let me bring on my screen. And then we can take a look if there is anything pressed. Oh, and I forgot to bring up the chat, so let me do that as well. Hey, NGB, thank you for joining. Ed as well. Okay, so I'll plug it in to see if there are any things, any keys pressed. Yeah, and you see this, this is kind of locked. I don't know if that's, oh, this is a lock switch. The guy told me that he changed the lock switch. So I think that's what's happening. That why, that's why it wasn't working because when I tried to put the keycap here, the, the switch stayed locked. So that, I think that's the issue. All right, so let's, uh, I think we can move on to do a quick type test, let's see. I'll tell you right away that the um, the board sound really sounds really hollow, right? So, but let's see how I f I like the feeling of the switches. Let me bring this up. Let's go. Cool. 
the letter T is not actuating. So there is another issue here that the guy didn't disclose. Yeah, the letter T is not actuating at all. So I'll probably have to open and see. Yeah. Oh, now it is. So it's, um, you see, it's actuating like sometimes. Yeah, rip. Let's try this one more time. Now it's working. I'm, I will tell you the sound is not the best in the world, but the feeling is really good. Yeah, it has a very, very uh, unique and, and deep sound. So it's, it's satisfying. And very different from what we're used to. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of reverb. You can feel like a, you can hear it's kind of a spring ping that is also very unique. So I need to figure out what to do with this caps lock key, right? Uh, I also need to figure out how to program the um, this thing uh, it's a ABD converter or some no not ABD I don't know the name but the Hasu M010 M010 M0110 converter so it's probably TMK so I'll go ahead and figure that out uh, later because also those two keys are swapped probably because the guy was using use it in Windows right uh, I need to figure out this lock. Um, Maybe I'll need to just desolder and replace. Let me check if those here, um, I don't think those are locking. If they're not locking, I'm good. Yeah, they are regular switches. So I'll probably be able to replace this guy with a regular switch. Uh, the only thing I don't know if, is that if this thing is, is higher like this one here. And if that's the case, I may need to change to... Let me pull out one of the caps to see how the other caps are. Yeah, so they are very similar. I don't know why the caps lock is sitting up higher like that. I think it's because how the caps is constructed. Yeah, it weights a locking... A locking... The key cap itself is, is made for a locking switch so that's that's the reason now i get it <clears throat> can you use can i send you a wrist rest of course you can send me a wrist rest but uh don't do it <laughs> but i like the overall look of this um i would i would definitely use it i would use this as a right uh, function key right and then I would have HHKB arrows here. So I'll, I'll definitely use this. I, I like, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't hate the way it's yellowed. Um, so I don't even know if I'll retro bright it. I, I kind of like the way it is right now. It's pretty cool. I just need to figure out why the option key doesn't work here on the locking switch. So I'll definitely desolder it and um, add the correct switch for the option key pretty soon. Actually, put it here because I want to use this as my mainly driver at least for you know a few days um, and figure out how to program it I think it can be pretty nice also I'll see if I can um, add some servo thing here why don't we try to open this guy to see how it looks on the inside Uh, hey Nathan, while you were here, could I ask if the Limo 0B connector from Cable Car Design is worth the 60 euros? You don't recommend who? Max? 
Who's Max? Oh, cable guard design. Okay, got it. Yeah, I remember the guy you bought your cable from. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and add, add those some nice... Um, some nice wrist rests like this one with nice uh, prime wood and all. So you see, Ed, you have the opportunity to send a wrist rest to Mr. Nathan here. What an honor. What, what is this cable that you guys are talking about? This whatever that is. All right, let's see what it looks like. On the inside, let's see how do I open this. I think it has some hooks here. Let me see. Why don't we Google how to open a M001? <clears throat> oh, and this key is definitely locked now. I'm having a hard time figuring out how to open this guy and I don't wanna fuck it. So it seems like there's something here that is preventing it to, from opening. Oh, of course there is. What about a screw? Stupid me. <clears throat> okay, so that was easier than I thought. <clears throat> So let's see. Um, yeah, so it's pre it seems to be pretty uh, straightforward, right? We just uh, desolder this guy from here. I wonder if I try to do that right now. Why don't we? Since we're all here, why don't we go ahead and do that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna desolder it. I'm gonna get this over with. many things around here I can't organize myself
I don't think it should be that hard to desolder this guy. Mm, hold on. This. Yeah. This is this here. I think it's still cold. I think this is some lead free solder. I'll have to pump up the temperature here. Super solder, yeah. Wow, steel's not. Still not melting. What the fuck? I'm on temperature two now, going to three. It is usually uh, hard to unsolder those things? Okay. was easier than I thought. Now, how do we pull this out? That's another question, right? This is tricky. Let me give you guys, let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm wondering if uh, in order to pull it out, I need to press those two parts at the same time. That's what I'm trying to do here. But very, very tricky. to do
Yeah, it's not, it's not easy when you're not familiar with what you're dealing with. I think we make progress. Yes. Here we go. This is what victory looks like. Okay, so let's get one of those replacements. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Char. Let's see. This should go here. Let's see if now our option key would work. Yes. So now we just need to solder it back. Uh, where's the locking one? There we go. Okay, yeah, I think it's working nice. Let me turn off my soldering gun. And let's put those things back. Okay, yeah, this is much nicer. And I wonder if later on I could, like, uh, I don't know, use a Dremel to trim this a little bit and make it sit normally on the, because this bothers me, the this higher cut block here. Okay, let's see if it, it works. Backspace is not backspace. So, um, test. And I don't have an arrow here yet. So let's see. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So I'm pressing option here. Oh, I'm not on the correct window anymore. You see, it's working fine. All right, um, so th the only challenge I have now is to figure out how to program this controller and then I will make it uh, the way I want it to be. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the purchase. purchase. Other than the T problem, I could take a look at that. Let me see if there's anything weird on the soldering of the letter T. No. I think it's more of a circuit issue than a physical issue. <laughs> this guy keeps. <laughs> Thank you for the support, guys. I couldn't do it without you. But uh, opening up, the, taking out the switch was the trickiest part. That was really tricky. Yeah, I really like the keyboard. I, I'm, <laughs> I am really pleased with, uh, with the thing altogether. Even with the color, like the old yellowed color, I like that. So I'll think if I'll retro bright or not, but I, for now I won't.
<laughs> the smoke behind me is fire. I mean, I'm kidding. It's a, uh, how you call it? Humidifier. Uh, since I'm sick, um, I'm keeping the humidifier. <laughs> it's a uh, special effect. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> it's uh, the, the disc holder just dropped on the floor. There's a huge fire here. <laughs> Sorry, guys, to scare you. I was wondering if so, anyone would notice. <laughs> Special effects. No, I have a humidifier here. Yes, exactly. We need to, we need some picanha. By the way, Ed, uh, we need to talk to Arctic Fox. He said that the next meetup would be at his place. Remember. And uh, that's a great excuse to have some picanha. Oh, you know what, what I forgot? To see if there was a place for me to put a sorbatain sheet at the bottom of this case. But I'll take a look at that later. Let me see if I can figure out how to program this guy. So let's see. Let me grab my keyboard and uh, we'll do some investigation. Let me just put my disorder gun aside and turn off my... Right, Ed? I remember that um, Arctic Fox told us that he would host the next one. So it's just a matter of telling him we're going to your place like tomorrow. Okay, let me let me do some investigation. Oh, and I'll look at the size that my face is. People would be pleased with this. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> This is uh, the key set is called uh, Royal Alpha, I think, GMK, Royal Alpha, this guy. And this is released to the one that I have. So let's see here, M0110, Hasu. Mm -hmm. Available here. So I think this is the original color of the key set. <laughs> I think mine is a little bit yellow, don't you guys think? Yeah, there, there is a, not a knockoff, but uh, there is the modern M0110, which I joined. I don't know if you guys saw this. So this is gonna be the aluminum version of the... And they're redoing this. Um, I, I got this color, I think, the, the gray, dark gray. Okay, let's see, uh, line key map e e editor. So you can do it. This way. M0110. I don't know which revision I have. How do I get to know? Hmm. I would have to open the adapter to see it. Let me see. Let me check something. Yeah, I love the M0, the modern one as well. Like, I think it's really good. I think the adapter, if you go to the TM key, TMK repo, you'll be able to configure it. Let's see. Uh, converter keyboard. Let's see, converter. M001, yeah, so we have this. So we have key map. Let's see what we got here. So control up Mac backspace return. 
and then cursor layer, where is the arrow? Let's see, up, left, right, down. So yeah, this is HHKB. So this exa is exactly what I wanted. Um, then what, what's the function key? Oh, function is down here. So maybe it's already programmed. Let's let's try it again. Let's see. Let me. Yeah, yeah, I am uh, checking the, I want to invert, uh, so let me see here. Oh, the smoke on the background, yeah. I have a humidifier since I'm sick, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I was kidding that I dropped my desoldering gun on the floor and everything is burning behind me. Sorry about that, guys. So left option is gonna be left command, and left command is gonna be left option. There you go. So let me see if I can make the arrows work. Yeah, no, 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 it's not working. Yeah, and backspace is also not working. Okay, I can do this other time. I don't wanna bother you guys with, um, this lousy work. We can unbox the rest of the stuff. Um, pretty pleased with the uh, M0110. Love it. Um, let's move on to the other unboxings I need to do. Yeah, I really wanted to reprogram this. Are you guys up for the boringness? Because if you are, maybe I'll go ahead and try to flash it even though I don't even know how to flash it I would have to read yeah 